What is up my Planet Coaster friends? Johnny5 Alive here and I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. We are back. It's Monday and we are here with a ride spotlight. It's been a while since we did a ride spotlight so we're kicking things off today with a ride spotlight and in today's episode we're going to be looking at Yggdrasil, the Nine Worlds created by Riddler Revenge 75. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, so before we kick things off, I just got to say that uh, we've been getting a lot of submissions lately. I I have, I don't know, a, a pile of like 50 of them to go through between park, coaster, ride, you name it. Um, so I was actually thinking about doing something like almost like a rapid show where I try and do about five coasters per show. And uh, that's probably the only way I can do this to get caught up because I can really only make about 10 videos a week and, I'm, and, and just doing that is is a stretch the, the amount of editing time gone into these is absolutely ridiculous um, depending on the video that is so let's take a look at what we're looking at here so this is Ig Yggdrasil the nine worlds created by Riddler Revenge 75 he, this is the I believe the fourth time he's been featured he's a coaster master come check out his workshop you guys are gonna love what he has made everything is four to five stars on his workshop he is absolutely phenomenal come follow him he's one of my favorite coaster designers on the workshop he focuses on creating placeable coasters so these are really top quality guys um, and you can place them in your park so come check it out be sure to come uh, rate and favorite Yggdrasil because it is his brand new creation so let's be sure to get that up to five stars Riddler had submitted this one uh, it's sent in by Ton he says here you go be aware this is a tricky one the on ride hands on the most this time because the ride is spinning the whole time ride it at night of course for the best effect all right once again thank you so much Riddler for your awesome submission I'm really excited about this one and for those who are wondering um, Yggdrasil is uh, apparently it says here on Google it says an immense mythical tree that connects the nine worlds of Norse cosmology so this ride is apparently going to take us through the cosmos of all these different elements so we should see you know wind fire water air earth all that stuff and it's pretty exciting so I've, I've said this in uh, videos but I've, I've had some comments come back to me and I think people misunderstand me I said that I didn't like the water rides but I say that when I'm doing the park spot lights because the park spotlights we have to ride like eight different coasters it doesn't make sense for me to ride the water rides since they're so boring in comparison and we run up to you know half an hour to an hour on these videos that sitting on a uh, water ride for 10 minutes doesn't make sense but in terms of a very ornate detailed uh, placeable coaster I mean ride the water rides are awesome and I do enjoy them so uh, I think there was a little bit of misunderstanding there between some of the subscribers here and I do in fact like the water rides it's just when you're going back to back with 10 different coasters they're less exciting nonetheless let's dive right into it let's check this thing out it let's take a quick look at it daytime it's a lot of rocks trees waterfalls very decorative looks beautiful obviously there's going to be some surprises on the inside for us Riddler Revenge never ceases to surprise us in these spotlights nice little boarding station here and let's take a look at this at nighttime. Love the uh, complementary colors of using the blue and orange there. Very nice. Love these little overhanging lights. Some smoke over here. It has a little bit of an orange glow. Something crazy is going on in the inside. And we've loaded up and we have 600 guests just packing in here trying to get on this one ride. So it is going to be a popular ride. We could take a look at the uh, rating. Um, it is a River Rapids ride, but the ratings are pretty good. So uh, let's give this thing a go. Okay, this looks like there's one left on the boarding station and it's just about to leave now. Um, I don't know what he meant in the the email but we might want to ride this in intersect mode I think that's what he was trying to say or maybe this mode we can we could ride this two different ways I think I say let's give it the first person track view and then we can ride it and see what the, the spinniness like ride it as an actual guest and see how that looks 
Oh, I almost forgot to turn the volume up. Hold on. I want it nice and loud for everybody so we can hear all the effects and stuff. What does that say? Ooh, snowy. Very nice. Nice and chilly. This might be a little too loud. I don't know if you guys can hear me now. <laughs> Love that snow little snowy area there. That was gorgeous. Ooh, I love how it's lighting up for us as we're embarking inwards. Bubbles. So this is like the mystical area. Very cool. Love those little mushroom and um, flower lights. Those are some of my favorite lights in the game. I just made a uh, ice castle that I'm really excited to show you guys. And I used a lot of the mushroom lights. That should be coming this week, guys. Smoke. So he's got all those different signs for the different worlds. So it's green in here and earthy feeling. So I'm assuming this is like a, an earth theme. I actually have a map here that I can pull up, a legend. The fertility gods. Very cool. Vanaheim, fertility gods. So we pass through the elvish people, Lord of the Elves. And there was another one. I think it was the Children of the Mist, Spring. Very cool. I love this, like, crazy mythology here. Love the carpentry work up here. Really nice. What did that say? S Snarfelheim? <laughs> I missed that. I'm trying to look at a legend here. It's getting dark. This is like Realm of the Fire Giants or something. Eternal Flame. I don't know if I have the right legend up here. But I have something similar that says Yggdrasil, so... Very cool. I just love all these different themes and the colors. This is so great. I, f I thought that one was going to be the fire one for some reason. Nice look at the boarding station from here. This is a very cool river rapids. Okay. Yeah, this is the fire one. The name is the exact same on the legend, so the Eternal Flame, Realm of the Fire Giants. Oh boy. I think it was Riddler that did the Inferno, and that scared the crap out of me. He's pretty good at doing these triggered events with fire. Oh boy. Almost looks like a dwarven, that dwarven stuff out of um, Skyrim.
Wow. Yikes. This is long. Very nice. And we made it back. Um, hell, that was awesome. I'm curious to know if we went through nine different areas. I'm sure we did. Very cool. This is one worth taking a better look at. Oh, I kind of want to take a better look at it off of off screen and uh, have the, the legend up and really look at the, the nine different areas. Loved it. This is a great River Rapids. Good job again, Riddler Revenge. Um, you always amaze me with your placeable coasters. And in this case, it's a ride. And I believe this is his first ride that he has done. And people have been asking for the vampire. He submitted this a long time ago. And I've been meaning to get around to the vampire. So hopefully we can get to that one this week too. But I want to be fair. And since we're featuring Riddler Revenge this time, I mean... It wouldn't be fair to feature him two times in a row, but we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we can squeeze that in as well. Now I did say I was going to try and do another perspective here, but I think we experienced it in the best perspective possible. Um, you guys can always download this and uh, link will be down in the description below if you want to go check that out and get a better look at everything. So um, I, I think we're going to try and keep videos a little bit faster this week I have a lot of them to do and I, I have some more ambitious plans so I think that should be enough for this episode it looks like we're already running 15 minutes before editing so I think that's gonna do it for this episode ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching if you like please be sure to like and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and if you have some if you have a coaster ride or park submission that you want to see make it on the show be sure to send it into channel 5 gad at gmail.com and i will add it to the list all right guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye now